Hello, welcome to the Backyard Mechanics Series. We're going to be repairing a computer, a power system, so stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. How many of you have a failed uh, power cord system on your computers? Uh, this laptop took a couple of spills and after replacing the motherboard about three or four times plus the audio video cable in it uh, and among other things uh, the power cord or the power supply where the power cord plugs into the computer that little uh, part apparently became loose or broke up soldering point so today I'm going to go ahead and open this computer up and reconnect that soldering point with my soldering iron that I have and then we have a little bit of solder. I'll begin by removing the uh, cover to expose the motherboard so I can get in there and solder that point so let's think of that going. So the deal is I have to order a new cord. This cord gave up the ghost in there. So my computer's broke until I order one of these new cords and it just plugs right into the motherboard right there. Okay. So I'll go online and order one right now. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That was a, I didn't need the soldering gun for that project and besides that is a, um, a little power cord that plugs into the motherboard so you just need, if you have to replace that piece then it just unplugs, you don't need to solder anything. However, I discovered that wasn't the part that needed to be salvaged or repaired. Apparently, it is this thing right here. I have a loose wire inside of this little piece right there that is uh, malfunctioning. So I have to go online and order a new one of these to get it to work. How I found that out? Well, I went and used my wife's computer's power cord and this computer worked fine with her power cord and it doesn't work fine with this. So that's how I, I should have done that in the first place. That's how I figured out it was this right here. There's a broken lead inside there, so we'll go ahead and order a new part and get the computer going, and I'll be right back. Okay, that piece came, so let's go uh, put it in the computer and see if it's going to work. Let's see, here's the old one. It's broken, and make sure I got the right part number. Same part number. I'll use my original plug because there's nothing wrong with that. And plug it in there. And those lights come on. That's good. That means it's working and my troubleshooting was effective. I should have done that in the first place before I took the computer apart and discovered that that wasn't a solderable piece. Well, lesson learned, and from my mistake, I get to pass on to you a little bit of wisdom. You don't need to take your computer apart for this. First, troubleshoot it if you got another cord that will work on this computer to make sure it's not indeed the uh, loose lead in the power cord itself. You just go ahead and do it on the, um, um, just replace the cord and you won't have to dissect it like I did <laughs> and get, get into the motherboard. At least we learned how to get into that motherboard and saw what the gizzards look like. And we're just going to fire it up. Battery's charging. Yay! And it's working okay now. So 
I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm with the uh, Backyard Mechanics series and a little bit of computer troubleshooting and repair. Stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, smash that share button. It really helps us out a lot. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Google Plus, and Blogger. I'll see you guys in more videos. Bye-bye.